Okay, so this is uh, how you set up the custom G code for your printer. Every recipe that you do, every printer recipe, should have what I'm about to show you. So we're inside of Repitrel. We're going to call up Configure for Slicker 3. Um, yeah, I, this is a little different look, but anything under Slicker 3, you'll see the Configure button. Once you press it, a few seconds, up pops the Slick 3R. Slicker 3, however they say it. I wish that made more sense. I just don't know how to say it. Um, you'll see the three things. Print settings, which is about the object. Filament settings, which is about the material, size, temperature, things like that. And then printer settings. And these define the printer. And you'll notice that this is a bed size of 240 by 220. Uh, and this is the center. If you don't like that working center, you can change these numbers. Um, G code flavors, rep wrap, always leave that alone. This is the general stuff. Uh, I usually put 20 hertz. That limits the amount of uh, moves per second. And I always put this at 4. Because, oops, wrong. I put it at 4. Because that should be the number of extruders that's supported on just about every printer that's made for us. Next thing will be the custom G code, which I click on. And this, as you'll see, is the G code that's executed at startup, at the end of the process, and at each layer change. Now, <clears throat> I will walk through the start G code. This is really important that this, if you go and make yourself a new recipe, that this same exact code is copied over. So what this first does is selects all heads on yoke one. And the way it does that is M6 is the tool or select command. T says tool number. And by doing tool one zero, it means yoke number one. Zero means all tools. Normally, you're in positions one, two, three, or four for the print heads. And uh, T10 will say, say, because there's a, a zero there, it will say select all the tools. We always work in millimeters, so use G21. Uh, we're in absolute coordinates at this time uh, versus relative moves. Uh, it's not very safe to use relative moves. There's just a few times it comes in handy. Uh, it tells it to move down, reset the X and Y, home it, find the zero points. And now in here, you can offset the build. So if you change this to 120, it's going to move the X over before it starts building. It gives it a new zero, zero origin for starting printing. Uh, typically, actually, uh, this is zero because it's already compensated for with the automated head offset. But usually the Y is 20 because of our trough landing zone. Uh, G92 is just a command to say wherever you're at, you're now at zero. And so, or whatever it's called that. You could actually put X10, Y10, and it would think that's where it was. Okay, this command right here, M83, it doesn't do anything about the print, but it does do a lot about visualization. So please leave this in here. Um, M227, that allows the prime unprime. That gets rid of the spider webs. Uh, only use this with the latest version of the firmware. M221 is the fudge factor. Fudge factor is basically it's a multiplier. This multiplier, when it's at 1.0, is 100% of the calculated value. That's your normal. If your material is uh, full of gas or it's highly compressible, you will increase that number. Play-Doh is about 140, which means 1.40. Um, plasticine and clay are about 1.0. If you have material that's slightly oversized, then you can create a sub 1.0 value to take it down to 0 0.9, 0 0.85, something like that. It's just proportional to the diameter of the input filament. M756, M757, these set the, uh, or communicate to the print head, what is the current Z layer height and the nozzle diameter. It uses this to calculate the flow rate. Uh, the next command here just tells it to work in 16 steps, micro step mode. This just gives you really smooth, um, high resolution delivery of your material. Uh, this is pulses per nanoliter. So basically, we define each pulse of the, the delivery motor into a certain volume of material. It uses the layer height, the nozzle, and the velocity coming from the G1 commands, i.e. the feed rate, and multiplies them to come up with this uh, 
feed rate in steps so it knows how many steps per second it's supposed to give to give you the volume per second that you're looking for based on your layer height, your nozzle diameter, and your feed rate. Uh, this one here sets the rep reporting rate. So if you have an error, it doesn't give you 50,000 errors a second. It just gives you reports the error once every so many seconds. Uh, and that's all you need to know about this being at the start G code. The NG code, this is important. What it does is, uh, first thing, it will turn off the extruders. It turns off the heaters. That's very important, for especially if you're making wrong prints where they'll stop in the middle of the night and you want them to turn the, the system off, or turn off all the heaters so it's safe. Uh, G91 tells it to do a relative move, and then it does a 15 millimeter move uh, away from the print heads. And I think that's actually pretty radical. I prefer a 5 millimeter move. That's a quarter of an inch. It's more than enough space. Uh, 15 millimeters, if you make a really tall build, it's possible that you will be at your limit of travel and you will go and hit your, your far limit. Uh, G90 is absolute, so it's just telling it to bring the Y back out of the head. And then uh, I do not recommend homing at this time. Uh, actually, you should be able to home. So uncomment that if you wish to home. Uh, and finally, the layer change code. Here the M790 is very important. So is the M756. So the 756 just reports to the hotheads what is the next layer height going to be in case there is a change in slicing thickness, uh, layer printing thickness. And then M790 tells the printer to report back to the PC that's running it that now it's officially changing from one layer to another and any bookkeeping or actions that are important they should be executed now. Um, we'll have more code later on that will involve the tool change but right now there's nothing special. Okay I'm saving that I just saved it and that's all you have to do.